Yes, people, a sick and demented burglar has been jailed after raiding a funeral parlour, throwing ashes of the deceased on the floor and trying to steal from the bodies of the dead. Mark Griffin forced entry into the Chapel of Rest at Padfield's funeral service in Barnstaple and rifled through drawers and cupboards and personal belongings of the deceased. The thief also opened a sealed letter that a family intended to be placed into a coffin with their loved one and he broke into collection boxes and also stole the keys to a hearse. Griffin left a trial of destruction as he emptied ashes and tore crematorium certificates from boxes with his cut and blooded hands. And as if all that wasn't far enough, he also disturbed two bodies while searching for items to steal. The families have described their utter devastation at learning about the callous and appalling desecration. Appearing in Exeter Crown Court, Griffin, a drug user with a heavy criminal background, was said to be sorry and embarrassed by his actions. The judge who sentenced him to two years and seven months in jail said, Over the years, you have attempted to burgle and have burgled 60 premises or homes to steal from the living. Here you have sought to steal from the deceased. There was total indifference and disregard to the hurt, pain and distress that would inevitably be caused to the loved ones. Griffin admitted three burglaries, all committed in the early hours of March the 14th. The prosecutor said CCTV showed him at about 3am standing outside the lemon at the Pie Cafe in Holland Street. He used a hammer to smash his way in through a window, could be seen dragging out the till containing £240 in cash. He also took a mug containing tips but cut his hand. He then moved to the undertakers in nearby Bootbart Street. After breaking in via a next door shop, he left the premises in a serious state of disarray, said the prosecutor. He rifled through cupboards and drawers, removed ashes from boxes, left his bloody handprint on boxes and he tore off crematorium certificates. He emptied further tubs containing ashes and ransacked the coffin workshop, leaving tools on the floor. Bags of clothing for the deceased were emptied and a sealed letter intended for a coffin, ripped open and left with blood marks found on the remainder of the letter. He then went to the fridge and opened two bags containing bodies. When staff arrived the next day, they discovered they had been clearly moved and rummaged for items. He had also searched the Mercedes hearse but had not damaged it. He then committed another burglary at a hairdresser's, making off with two pairs of clippers worth £50 each and a pair of hair straighteners worth 100 He was easily caught though after leaving a blood trail which the police could easily follow and locate him. Yeah that's it people, some proper scummy crimes there. I think he should have got a bit more personally. But yo, anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Check back for more, yeah? Peace.